Welcome to SpectralWorks Analyzer Pro tutorial for processing metabolomics data. You can download the PDF version of this tutorial from our website for instructions on how to download example data. The first step, using the application button, is to set your preferences. This means set a location for your Analyzer Pro processing method and library files. I've downloaded the example data to a folder on my desktop. This is where all of my Analyzer Pro files will be saved for this project. From the Home tab, select Data File. Select the six frog data files and open them to create a sequence table. To create a processing method and define your peak detection parameters, go to the Methods tab select New Method, and then select Edit. I've optimised the parameters for this data as follows. Once you have finished entering your processing parameters, click OK and then click Save. For GCMS data such as this, you may wish to calculate a retention index for each component. The example data has been spiked with seven alkanes to calculate retention indices for each component. Alkanes have the ions 57, 71 and 85. So I'm going to extract these ions by right clicking on my chromatogram, selecting options and from the trace type drop down box, select mass chromatogram and enter mass 57 insert an additional trace and enter masses 71 and 85. Click OK. By holding down the left mouse button, I can zoom in on my chromatogram and find my alkanes in the data. From the extracted iron chromatograms, we can inspect the retention time more closely. By hovering the mouse over the apex of the peaks and looking to the label at the top of the chromatogram, we can see that the retention time for this alkane, dodecane, is 14.8204 minutes. Once you have found the seven alkanes in the data and recorded their retention times, go to the Method tab and select RI Ladder to create a manual retention index ladder. Enter the name of the alkane, its retention time, and retention index. Populate the table with the retention times and indices of all seven alkanes and click Save. You now need to edit your processing method to include your retention index calculation method. From the Methods tab, click Edit and from the Retention Indices box and Type drop-down box, select User Manual Retention Index Ladder. Insert the ladder method file you just saved. Click OK and then click Save. As an alternative to the Manual Retention Index Ladder, 
You may like to use a retention index calculation method which will find the alkanes in your data files to calculate retention indices for each component. To do this, you will first need to process a data file. From the Home tab, select the Sample button, which will process the data file against your saved method. Once the file has been processed, select Retention Index from the Home tab. This method editor contains the details of each peak in the processed file. From the retention times of the alkanes you previously recorded and by inspecting the spectra for each component, you should be able to locate the alkanes and delete components that won't be used for the retention index calculation method. When you have the seven alkanes in the method editor, Update the names of the alkanes and the retention indices. Now save the method. Edit your processing method to include your retention index calculation method. This method can be used to either calculate a retention index using a method and data file, or calculate a retention index for each file using a method. Select the data file from which your retention index method was created. Now select the method you saved. Alternatively, just select the method. Remember to click Save after each time you change the method. We are now going to create a library of target components from each data file in the sequence list. Since uniformly labelled sorbitol has been used as an internal standard in this data, I'm first going to add this as a target component to a new library. From the Methods tab, select Target Components and save the new library. In the data file, find Sorbitol which elutes at approximately 30.6 minutes. Right-click the Deconvolve Spectrum and add as target component to the library you previously saved. Rename Sorbitol and use the unique iron 323 as the target iron for this component. Save the library and exit the editor. We can now complete our processing method. Edit your method to enable target component searching and enable library searching to search against the NIST library if you have it installed. For this dataset, I'm going to use a manual retention index ladder. Click OK and then click Save. To process your sequence, go to the Home tab and under Process, select Sequence. Name your sequence and check Automatically Build Target Library. I'm going to build my library using retention indices rather than retention time. Now click Process. Now that the sequence is processed, assign your experiment categories.
From the category drop down boxes, assign a category to each sample. You can now view your sequence results. From the Home tab, under Results, click Matrix Analyzer. Here you can view your principal components analysis, the loadings plot for the principal components analysis, your retention time reproducibility for each component, and the area of components in each of your samples. Using the Options button, from Normalise to Target Component drop-down box, you can select your internal standard to normalise the area of each component to the internal standard response. Here you can also choose the columns you wish to have available in your matrix. The columns in your matrix display the response of each component, the normalised response of each component, a p-value calculated using a one-way analysis of variance, a normalised p-value, a calculated fold change, a normalised fold change, and the percent detected for the component across the samples. You can sort components based on any of the columns in your matrix. You can also delete rows by clicking the Delete Selected Row Trash Can button. Your results are now recalculated without the deleted components. From the Components column, you can see that many of the components have been annotated with names from matches with the NIST library. As you scroll through the components, you can view the area of each component in each sample based on the experimental condition. You can also do this by clicking on points in the loadings plot. You can now start to interpret your results. Thank you for watching this SpectralWorks Analyzer Pro data processing tutorial.